Hi guys, co-tutor here. My name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have already seen the basic life cycle methods, the six life cycle methods, that is on create, on start, on resume, and on pause, on stop, and on destroy. Now, in this particular video, we will see the scenario where you have to use two more methods, that is on restore instance and on saved instance. These two methods are slightly different. They don't always get executed. In very specific scenarios, they get executed. Let us implement and see the specific case when it gets executed on saved instance state, the method, and on restore instance state. And to make it log the output to the log cat, I will use the same log i method with slight modification and let me run this as you can see here it is on create on start and on resume and when i hit the back button it goes to on pause on stop on destroy so you still don't see these methods which i just implemented which are on saved instance state and on restore instance state let me show a scenario where these methods actually get executed to do that let me change the orientation of the screen to landscape and you can see here after on pause and before on stop you are seeing the execution of on saved instance state this is another important point to remember whenever the screen orientation changes the activity is restarted from the scratch that is why you are once again seeing the on create on start but just before on resume happens the on restore instance state get executed so why would you use this particular method to understand that let me write something here say hi and if i change the orientation you can see that whatever that i had written in the edit text is getting lost and if i once again write something over here and change the orientation once again the text that i had written over there is getting lost how can i retain this to do that you can actually make use of these two methods let me create a edit text which will correspond as a id and i need to initialize it in the activity this can be done as edit text find view by id is the method which returns a view which i need to typecast into to edit text or id dot sample dot edit text so what i will do is Whenever the activity is going in the background, I will save this particular value that I have written in the edit text to a bundle. So out state dot put string. You can use any key, say sample key, which it should be a, a string value, and then get hold of the value that you have put in the edit text. So edit text dot get text dot to string we are storing it whenever the activity is going in the background i need to restore back the value to do that i will use edit text dot set text and how to get back the text whatever that you had stored here it will be accessible here so you can use saved instance state dot get string and what is the string the key that you had used to save it in the earlier case that's it and now let me run this the activity got started i will write something here and now i will change the orientation that basically makes the whole activity to get recreated and you can see that on saved instance state gets executed in which we are storing the value into the bundle and then on restore instance state where we are fetching it back and if i once again change the value over here I change the orientation I'm still retaining the value so in this particular method you can basically write the code to retain the state of your activity whenever the orientation of the screen changes let me slightly change the code here I will comment out it this is also unnecessary this is also unnecessary but I will keep the ID as it is I will not remove the ID and let me run the code here so is coming to the on resume i will write something here and i will change the orientation 
did you observe that even though i have commented out the methods like on saved instance and on restore it is still retaining the value and if i change it here and once again change the orientation it still retains the value and can actually observe that in spite of those methods not getting executed because i have commented out it is still retaining value and if i just remove the id and run this all over again now let me enter the value and if i change the orientation the value is lost so basically what i want to highlight here is if you have given the id to a view then android system will automatically retain the state of that particular view but if you haven't given id to that particular view then it will not retain the state of that particular view so that is what i wanted to demonstrate and if you want to have any more ideas based on which you want to see a few more videos please let me know and you can write them in the comment section i will be placing the code in the github and i will be giving the link to that below in the description section subscribe to the channel take care bye